Church, I could not be more excited to share some news today about Riverwood House. Riverwood House is our recovery housing project that we have been working on for over two years. It will be a 40 unit supportive housing complex built right beside the fire hall on the corner of Talbot and Stadacona. A project that will provide a safe place for people in recovery to live and find connection and support and to access the services they need to support their recovery journey and to move towards healthy, meaningful living. Well, the need for this project could not be more clear. Over this last eight months, we have witnessed the impact of isolation and disconnection for those that are struggling with addictions and homelessness. It has truly been its own pandemic. Relapse and overdoses have risen more than 30%. The isolation and the loss of supports has disproportionately impacted those who are living in vulnerability. And this has reinforced and given us even more resolve for our vision for Riverwood House. It has shown how critical a supportive community is to support recovery. It has shown how important connection is for mental health and it continues to be unmistakably clear that without safe and stable housing, recovery does not stand a chance. Without community, recovery just can't be successful. And I'm thrilled to share that we have now signed the contract with Westland Construction to officially begin building Riverwood House. We have our building permit in hand and this site is now ready for development. Church, this project is moving from what started as a dream and will now become a reality. Activity has already started on site. The construction office has moved on, the fencing is up, and the survey team has been plotting out the site to start building the foundation for this project. For our Riverwood leadership, this has been a large step of faith, but together we believe this is the right time for this project to move forward. It's a big vision. Riverwood House is a $7.3 million project. And to date, we have raised more than 3.4 million. We have secured the financing for the project and we are actively working towards a federal contribution. And we see remarkable generosity emerging as we continue to raise the funds needed. Well, these coming weeks are exciting weeks as we anticipate that ground will be broken very shortly. Of course, in normal times, we'd be planning a large celebration for our groundbreaking event, but obviously, we'll need to get a bit more creative with our current situation. But nonetheless, we will mark and celebrate these moments together. We are humbled and grateful to celebrate this exciting news and to see Riverwood House begin to take shape. We celebrate the remarkable generosity of those who have invested so much into this project already and the hard work that's being done by Winnipeg Supportive Housing, our incredible partners in this project, as they help us develop it and push it to completion. We look forward to the day coming soon when these doors will open. Together, as a church, we are compelled by our call to follow Jesus and to serve those living in the most vulnerable places of our community and city right now, and to give them an opportunity to have a chance, a safe place to call home that can support them in their sustained recovery, a place of community and connection to see people discover their full potential of who they were created to be. Church, Riverwood House is being built. Hope is coming home.